Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to I'm going to begin my slide deck will be about five ten minutes like I said, but I'm going to begin by playing a very short video called Taoism. It's a very short video. This explains to you more about you know what TAU is and what our Taoism philosophy is. Okay, so let me just great. Here we go. Tel Aviv University International, the only place in the world where you can study Taoism. What is Taoism? Well, it's a local philosophy that says the best way to study is through experience. Understand with your head, learn with your feet. The best way to study a multicultural society is to live in one. Be ready with your elevator pitch. You never know who you'll meet on campus. If you want to learn the best marketing strategies, just go to the local market. Reading about the startup nation? Write your own chapter. Study literature in the place that inspired the bestseller of all time. You can't resolve a conflict until you witness one. At TAU, there is always room for more questions and 400 labs to find the answers. Come experience the wisdom of Taoism at Tel Aviv University International, where first class education meets a second to none lifestyle. Slide back. Okay. So uh, that's Taoism. You know, Taoism is our philosophy that, you know, you study best through experience, you learn with your head, you understand with your feet, and sometimes learning happens everywhere, and sometimes, you know, when you least expect it. We filmed that video on campus just last year in the summer, and a lot of the extras you see in it were actually international students there that we filmed on campus. So that's Taoism. You learn not just in a classroom, you learn in a campus, in a city, in a country. All of these experiences will completely change you and transform you. So this gives a, a good snapshot of TAU from a macro level. Listen, we're one of Israel's largest and most comprehensive institutions of higher education. We have 30,000 total students and 2,000 plus are international students. They come from 100 countries. As you heard in the video, we have nine faculties, 125 schools and departments, and 400 labs to, to help you find the answers. Of the 2,000 international students, they come from 100 plus countries from all over the world, from North America, from LATAM, from Europe, from Asia, the Middle East, the Far East, Australia, from all corners of the world. We're also we're in Tel Aviv, you know, the second largest technology sector in the world. And TAU is very much the innovation hub of the, of the startup nation. So I won't go into all of them, but we're very proud of our rank and what we've achieved here. As I mentioned, we're, one of, we're Israel's largest and most comprehensive institutions of higher education. We are the number one choice among Israeli students. We are ranked fifth in the world for entrepreneurship. We're the only non-US institution to make that top 10 list. We're ranked right up there alongside Stanford, MIT, UC Berkeley, Harvard, um, some really, really Ivy, top Ivy League institutions, top 100 innovation university, as I mentioned. We're also in the top 10 of schools producing VC-backed founders. And again, one of the only non-US institutions to make that top 10 list. And also 55% of the population on campus are women. We're very proud of that. Just last year, the university set up its very first Equality and Diversity Commission, headed up by Professor Netta Zeev. 
Um, and their remit, it's clear, it's to enhance equality and diversity among everybody on campus. Um, as I mentioned, you know, we're a big multidisciplinary institution of academic excellence and our, our impact is felt large and wide. We have nine faculties and that alone creates a, a you know, unique and fascinating connections between disciplines that are not traditionally connected to each other. And that provides infinite possibilities for academic creativity um, and research. World-class faculty, renowned professors, I mentioned students from 100 plus, uni uh, 100 plus countries. Um, every year our students perform over 300,000 hours of community service. So we are a big, our impact is felt large and wide. And of course, we're based in this wonderful city, Mediterranean city of Tel Aviv that, that we call home. And that leads me on to this slide. So if you've never been to Tel Aviv before, it's Israel's cultural and commercial capital. It's been called the Mediterranean capital of cool by the New York Times. It's a nonstop city with amazing nightlife, cuisine, cultures. It's a city that you can never stop exploring. Also one of the world's safest cities. The actual slogan of Tel Aviv is nonstop. And our slogan here at Tel Aviv University International is non-stop discovery. So we're very proud to be based here in Tel Aviv. Oops. Um, just a snapshot of some alumni. This is our community that's changing the world in different fields, a world changing community. It's 200,000 strong, plus 15,000 international alumni. And these are some amazing people making an impact in their respective fields. You'll see lots of people here from the world of business, entrepreneurship and innovation, as I mentioned, is very much part of our DNA. We have people here from the founder of Waze, VP of Google, Professor Amdon Shashua, the mobile eye president and CEO. But in addition, you also have people like Yota Motolenghi, who is a very famous celebrated chef and author with a, you know, a couple of amazing restaurants and, and books and TV shows. Also, you have Professor Anit Sachi, who developed a, a new way to treat and prevent melanoma um, through a nano vaccine. So we hope that you come to us at TAU and you'll be successful and make an impact in your region and area of expertise and, and, and help fly the flag for, for TAU. And of course, as a lead institution, you know, we have close links to industry through um, initiatives like Remote, the Business Engagement Centre to identify, nurture and transform TAU inventions into products. You have TAU Ventures, an academic venture capital fund. There's the Entrepreneurship Centre on campus run by professionals from the industry. You have Ignite by Collar, an entrepreneurship club from the Collar School of Management. That's a community for students and alumni to explore entrepreneurship. They participate in events, engage with other entrepreneurs, share ideas and create, you know, wonderful new partnerships. In addition, we have amazing ongoing industry events on campus every year, Cyber Week and Artificial Intelligence Week. They really are the international acclaimed events in these areas. They're a unique gathering of experts, industry leaders, startups, investors, academics, diplomats and government officials from over 80 countries. And sometimes we can have as much as, you know, 9000 attendees on campus throughout that entire week. OK, before I finish, I just want to, in addition to the wonderful program that Lena and Jackie will present and the wonderful academic options here, um, and everything else related to the Sophia Global MBA. The other thing I want you to take away from your from the, today's session is the student life team. We call them Madrachim, which is the Hebrew word for guide or counselor. And they're there very much to give you a, you know, a nice soft landing. So when you come to us, they're there on arrival day, they organize orientation. They're all Israeli students who are, you know, post army doing their their, their first or second degree with us. Um, and they live in the dorms with students. They're available 24-7 for any issues or support that you may have. They're also your go-to people if you need anybody that speaks Hebrew that can help you with, the, you know, a lost bank card or travel card. In addition, they do amazing events on campus and off campus all the time. They do, you know, social events on campus like pizza night, movie night, yoga night. 
In addition, you'll get to explore the best of Israel through them. They have some amazing day trips in Tel Aviv, in Jerusalem, and also overnight trips in the north and the south, sometimes for more than one night, sometimes for two nights. So you'll get to really maximize your experience and uh, get to know the real Israel through the student life team. Um, and this sense of community heads through to the accommodations as well. I'm sure you may be questioning if we have dorms. We do. We have accommodation on campus. The 24-hour security, health insurance, a doctor's office on campus. They're literally just next to a few minutes walk from where we are here. There's a food court and supermarket there. Um, we actually try to keep all of the international students together in the in the accommod in the dorms, but at the same time, you are surrounded by Israeli students as well. So you get the best of both worlds. Next up, we do. Oh. Oops. Sorry, oops. Just some pictures here of the dorms. You can see they're very nice there. Most of them are studio style with their own kitchens, their own bathrooms. They also have laundry facilities. They have you know, study rooms and some social rooms. And some of them have a small gym and also a creche if you come with children. There's also you know, an aroma restaurant opposite, some shops nearby and a supermarket as well. And so it's a really great place to, um, to live. Uh, some of them also have amazing views up high because they're up high. They have a balcony with amazing views out towards um, over Tel Aviv. Um, and that's me. Thank you very much for listening to me. I'm going to stay on the, the, the info session um, and hand over to Jackie and Lena. But if you have any questions about student life or anything at all, I'm, um, I'm the one to, um, to ask. So thank you very much for listening to me. Hope that gave you a bit of an insight into who we are, TAU, on a macro level. Uh, I'm going to hand over now to, to Lena and Jackie to present the program. Thank, Thank you. you so much, David. Actually, you convinced me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could register, but I'm a graduate, unfortunately. Uh, not unfortunately, fortunately, but cannot be a student anymore. Uh, I see Lena is already sharing the presentation. Uh, so before we start, and I think Lena will... Uh, give you most of the presentation, I want to talk a bit about myself and a bit about our slogan. Uh, so about myself, I'm Jackie Gorin. I'm the head of the program. Uh, I'm, I'm doing it for the second year. I'm a faculty member at the Kohler Business School, which is the business school within uh, the Tel Aviv University. We have a lot of names, so you need to understand the structure. So there is the Tel Aviv University, Tau International is the arm that handles all the English speaking students that are coming here, as David mentioned. Kohler Business School is the business school within the Tel Aviv University. And actually Kohler Business School is the school that provides the certificate and, and all the content to the SOFAIR program MBA, which is the global MBA program uh, that I'm heading. Um, I uh, have an academic background but I also spent a lot, many, many years uh, at the uh, industry, mainly managing uh, a venture capital fund and an impact fund. And I think that this is a good representation of what our program is all about. Uh, it's not just about, you know, a solid academic background, which we are definitely providing. Uh, and we have accreditation for that, and Lena will speak about it shortly, uh, but also uh, an opportunity uh, to uh, experience the unique uh, Israeli entrepreneurial ecosystem, uh, and hopefully to become either an entrepreneur yourself or a player within this ecosystem, an investor, or maybe finding out that this is not for you at all and taking some of the other routes that we are also offering. And uh, we chose uh, the name, the, the slogan, imagine, try, succeed, repeat, uh, because actually these are the things that we are trying to promote as part of the one year MBA program that we are offering uh, to, you know, use your imagination to envision uh, new solutions to problems that you see around you, to try it within the safe environment of the university to succeed because we are here, here around you in order to uh, ensure a successful experience and to repeat and to do it all over again. As, and as you know, entrepreneurs are serial usually. And once you caught this disease, uh, you cannot stop doing it. So if you come to us, it will give you an opportunity to imagine, to try, 
to succeed and hopefully to repeat. Uh, so with this, uh, I would uh, hand it to uh, Lena, the head of recruitment, uh, and we will go back and forth, I think, uh, all through the presentation. So welcome, Thank Lena. You. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, David. I forgot how campus is actually beautiful and how many opportunities in Tel Aviv. Uh, so actually now looking forward to come back. It's exciting. So hello, everyone. Uh, it's really nice to see some familiar names already uh, and see that, guys, you are uh, going through the process and that you are still wondering what's happening here. And we will try to share this information with you. I think David and Jackie shared with some impressions and ideas, and I will be maybe a little bit boring and go with the numbers. And But the things that are really, really important when you're choosing your second degree, and especially when you're choosing among so many MBA programs that are happening uh, all over the places in the world. So just to make sure that we will make a perfect match, uh, that you will find what you're looking for, and we will be able to provide you here with what you're looking for. So I think a uh, very objective thing, which is easier to identify and figure out uh, if it's good or bad, definitely accreditation that has been mentioned already by Jackie, but also the international accreditation AACSB, which means that we getting regular checkups. It means that all our professors are, have uh, their degrees uh, uh, that they are working within the industry, that all our courses are up to date, that we have uh, the same fundamental MBA courses that any other program in uh, the world, the MBA program in the world will have. Uh, yes, we have many additional interesting things, but we will speak about this later. But just for you to be sure that it's something accredited with great reputation, we have this accreditation. As David already mentioned, the numbers that we are proud of and uh, the ones that are belonging to the College School of Management. Of course, number five in the World Ranking for Entrepreneurship. Uh, this place, I think we're getting it, it's like the second or third time in a row by Startup Genome. And also by the Pitch Book, we are number eight. And actually just recently we got the new numbers, should update this one, we're number seven. So we are not just happy where we are but we are always progressing and happy for uh, our graduates that are establishing new companies. And of course, uh, top 10 schools, I mean, I would not repeat this, but I think these are main figures that are important to be considered when you're choosing your MBA program. Next, figures. So just for you to also to be able maybe to identify which program can work better for you, so there are some, again, objective criteria. So our program is very intensive, and that's why it's one year. Uh, since I'm speaking to many students, many candidates, uh, people are asking uh, how come that it's not two years, it's one year. But you should see our students actually now. <laughs> it's the best period of time when they end of the first module and they are kind of exhausted and at the same time excited because uh, they still take in a lot of courses. Uh, they need to come up with 28 credits, like any other MBA as well. But also the thing is that they're trying to put as many electives in this one year as possible, because they know that uh, probably this is the only place where they can get those courses. And here, hence the second uh, number comes out. So in total, we might offer you uh, more than 30 courses. It includes our own schedule, like Software Global MBA, but also we have some uh, exchange courses. Uh, so the all international students that are coming to Tel Aviv University as an exchange students. So their classes are taught in English and our students can join those classes. Also another huge advantage of Tel Aviv University, as um, David mentioned, we have nine schools. I like the fact that you can find any ads in one of the 400 labs. Exactly, it's uh, all of them are, most of them are open to you. And there are other even degrees in English and you can take some of their courses even within the Software Global MBA. So we try not to have more than 50 students per year. I think uh, it's our conscious choice. So we will have enough of students for the good international networking, but at the same time, 
uh, it's really very important for us to know our students. And so even now, when I see the list of the participants, I always see like, the people who are about to be accepted or the ones whom I already interviewed them to now to be like really, really recent people. So looking forward for you guys to proceed with the application process. And that's how like we meet students uh, in the streets, uh, in Tel Aviv, on the beach, all those beautiful places that they showed us. And also, it's possible for us to be much more flexible with the courses. And uh, I think a good example that we had that um, our students found out that there is a blockchain course in the Hebrew departments. And they said, well, want this as well. Of course, we're not magicians and we cannot make all things happen. However, there are certain uh, requirements and they found another 15 students that also would, would love to take this course and we were able to organize this course for them. So by having this kind of a boutique program, we can really make it term and be pretty much flexible. The next one I think I'm most proud of is like 20 plus countries. Uh, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, but uh, we strongly believe in diversity. Don't want to sound it as cliche, but I think uh, when I'm coming to some of the courses now or like the final um, classes where the students are coming up with the presentations, you can really see how this diversity works. Because like we have students from different countries with different backgrounds, like we have law lawyers, we have medical doctors, people coming from you know fashion industry, of course, from all um, types of uh, business uh, categories. Also, we have those people and also the age, like uh, I put here 27, 29, but we have students, I think the youngest one this year, 23, uh, the oldest one is like 42. And I know that for us, it's like really a unique chance to make everybody together and people definitely can exchange their ideas, their uh, uh, share their imagination, be uh, on the one hand as much crazy as they can be in finding out different solutions for their world problems. But at the same time, we have very, very experienced people who can support this. And uh, we have uh, professors that are really great mentors that can either support or tell them directly, like it's very popular in Israel, that it's better to find out with something uh, alternative. Let's call it like this. So that's diversity, countries, and age. Uh, also part of our program is internship. Uh, you will have an opportunity to work in the Israeli company. Uh, since I think 95% of our students are international students, it's probably one of the few opportunities to be able to work in the real Israeli business app system. We have a career management center that take care of you, that takes care of you almost the moment you're enrolled. So they already receive your CV before you're here. Uh, you will have one-on-one -on -one sessions with them and definitely you can use uh, our database to find the place for the internship. But again, as I think Jackie will speak more about it, that we really appreciate for active students. And many of our students are just meeting their uh, future bosses uh, on the beach, in the cafeteria, somewhere on campus, and come to us and say, like, I want to work there. And again, since we have this opportunity to be flexible, most of the time we will meet their needs and we'll try to make our students to work exactly where they want to work as interns. And uh, the last thing uh, that I want to mention in this summary, that all of you will have an option for the semester abroad. Actually, there's a two, there are two options, short term and long term. Um, we have more than 100 partner business schools all over the world where our students can apply to. Uh, the only restriction that you cannot go back to the country where you're originally from. Um, let's say you are from Uruguay and you're coming here, it means that you cannot go to our partner school in Uruguay. The rest of the world is yours. And what is more important, the tuition is included in our tuition fees so you don't pay extra for studies. So just this is an option. Uh, I know it sounds like really great and most of the students that are coming here, they really wanna take this option. Uh, I think maybe about 40% end up with going for the semester abroad, but those ones who are going like now, like I'm following 
So our students on Instagram, they're really enjoying their time. And uh, now they're actually about to finish like the 20th of December. And it means that by the end of your program, by the end of your experience with us, you will have the International Accredited Diploma of MBA from the prestigious university, like Tallinn University. You might be able to have even 120 hours of work experience, and you will also have some international experience from our partner school. So that's a lot of things that can be used by somebody who is joining us. Our values seems the uh, yeah. Jackie, as the head of the program, I think many of stuff coming from her, and we are happy to share these values. And most of the time, we're just kind of trying to pick which of those 10 are more important for us at this moment that we like. So, Jackie. So, maybe today I'll talk about impact. Um, uh, and I just want to share with you two uh, initiatives that we are doing this year that has to do with impact. Uh, one within uh, our, I would say, not Tapstone, or one of the, the leading courses that we have uh, from uh, design thinking to entrepreneurship, which is also uh, actually a course that has three parts uh, in which the students are working together with people leading the industry in different arenas, uh, coming from Google, professors from Yale, uh, and working on challenges uh, that uh, the biggest hospital in uh, Tel Aviv, Ichirov Hospital, gave them. Uh, and the title is Health in the City. Uh, and actually the idea is that if we find solutions to health issues that has to do with living in the city, so that will put less pressure on hospitals. So uh, the students are exercising uh, working on developing ideas, learning what unmet needs are, uh, pitching them, and hopefully by the end of the year getting some prize on you know the best pitch and the best idea. Uh, but the issues that we are working around are issues that has to do with impact, uh, different things like the noise in the city, the heat in the city, uh, the breathing issues in the city. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, about a few days ago, I heard the first pitch uh, on the unmet needs, and that was really an incredible uh, experience for me. Uh, the students are also going to participate in the beginning of January in the hackathon that we are doing together with the medical school uh, in Tel Aviv University, the engineering school, the biology, biology school, and us as leading the business side of it. And teams will work together on challenges that will be given to them from different hospitals in Israel. Um, and the win winning team uh, will win a prize and go to uh, uh, MIT in order to further develop the idea. So that's again around impact. Um, and last but not least, every year we are forming a consulting firm. Uh, from students of SOFER program, students from the regular MBA, and students coming from uh, Shulik Business School in Toronto, Canada. Uh, and we are consulting to startup companies, impactful startup companies, in order to help them to expand globally uh, and to bring their solution to as many people as possible. And I can give an uh, example of last year project that we worked with a company called Remilk, that actually developed a technology that allows create a milk which has exactly the same you know, components as cow's milk, but you don't need the cow for that. I mean, you can create a milk without a cow uh, and they wanted to expand their presence uh, to the North American market and uh, a team of students from Sofair were working with them on that. So uh, we have a lot of projects, uh, but we are especially proud of the impact projects and we are trying to promote as many collaborations uh, in that area. Maybe just one last thing that we also had this uh, semester is uh, that our students participated in a hackathon together with Microsoft in order to use uh, AI uh, to solve issues that has to do with uh, racism. Uh, and a team of students uh, that was led by some of our students actually won uh, the first prize. 
when they uh, develop the idea for a product that uses AI in order to create a better screening process to work in places that will eliminate the racism element uh, of recruitment. So these are some examples of impact things that we are doing as part of our MBA, and we are planning to do many more of those. Sorry for taking so much time. I'm excited about it. That's okay. <laughs> good. Do you want to pick another one or you go with one this time? Yeah, let's continue, I think. Okay, yeah. So uh, being a not uh, a native Israeli, not a Hebrew, native speaker, probably I should explain at least one of the Hebrew words that are written here. It's like either Balagan or Kutzpa. I think uh, I'll go with Kutzpa. So it's something that if you want to live here, you need to learn. It's something that uh, if you are sure that you are right, and if you're sure that you can do something, some really good things or improve some things that need to be improved, that you will actually go and do this. And that you will try, you will not be afraid of a failure because like the more you fail, eventually you will succeed. Um, and I think this word also relates to the fact that what we are teaching our students, starting even like this year, we started with um, uh, dinner in the Arab area of Tel Aviv. And we invited the author of this book, Kutzpah, who was sharing her experience. And she told us uh, how it's like developing, how it's coming from. Of course, if you were lucky to be born here, I think it just like comes with the blood and on the playground. Uh, because she was uh, like the whole book is about like how she was bringing her kids and that's how they get kutzpa and that's why I think it went together with our idea of a playground so when you're coming here you are becoming as brave as children you are as curious as children and you are not being stopped you are being encouraged mentored and uh, you can try different things um you can share your ideas with professors, with people around you, uh, find the people who think like you, find the, thing, the people who will disagree with you, which is also very important. And uh, our mentors would be with you when you fail, and also would we'll be very happy to be with you when you succeed. And chutzpah is the thing where what you learn all the time you're here. So I guess that's also very important. And maybe a little bit I will touch upon Balagan, uh, so you will not be scared of these words. This, I think, like the only two words in the whole curriculum that you will hear not in English. The rest is completely in English. But Balagan is kind of like a cows, and I think uh, now it's becoming essential skill to enjoy the life in this world. And the whole world is becoming a huge Balagan, and we give you a setting where you feel that you can manage this Balagan. And it means that you can easily adapt to the changes that are happening. You're going to lead those changes, despite of the fact that most of us hate the changes. But you know how to manage, you know how to actually uh, be successful in these changes and how to help others. Again, coming back to what Jackie chose, impact. Because uh, um, I think that what we're most proud of that our candidates like there wasn't a single time when I heard that somebody wants to come and study MBA because they want to make a lot of money. But they come to MBA because they really want to change something that is not working well or wrong, or that they can, instead of just like being able, like recently, one of the medical doctors that is studying this with us uh, this year uh, just said that I know that I can help uh, with what I have, like 50 people, but I want to have to help to be able to help 5,000 people. And that's what we are helping our students uh, to come up with. So I guess the rest we can cover another time. Uh, and here is our timeline, how we're going through the education process throughout the year. Yeah, I will go quickly because I know we took a lot of your time, but actually we have a plan behind all of it. So uh, we have five modules uh, as part of our uh, curriculum, uh, seven weeks each. Uh, we start in October. Uh, the first model is more about preparation, and this is where the more uh, most of the core courses uh, will be, courses that we need to give you. Every MBA will give you the same, but the, the same courses. 
at, at the same time, you will get to know the Israeli ecosystem and you will start uh, talking about entrepreneurship. Uh, the second module continues with core courses, but then we start uh, to go deeper into entrepreneurship and innovation. Uh, the design thinking meets entrepreneurship course, for example, or hackathons, but we have other courses as well. And you're invited to go uh, to our website and see all the curriculum. In the third module, uh, we are moving more into uh, experiential learning, um, you know, Kate, building your own company, uh, the new venture creation course, user engagement in online environment course, and other courses of this kind. Uh, the fourth module will start going outside of campus, uh, so the fellowship will start there, um, and we have all kind of uh, master classes and consulting classes that are actually given to companies that are outside the, the campus. Uh, and the last module, uh, which is the summer module, we will continue with the fellowship, we'll have the summer courses and exchange program, as Lena uh, described, either in the summer or in the fall, depending on where you want to go. Uh, I think we can move okay. forward. Uh, maybe a word before we go to the technicalities. So uh, we are selling our program, but we are also looking, we know what, what kind of students we are looking for. And maybe this is a good opportunity to say that, you know, like a gym, you know, a gym sell their product to you. But at the end of the day, if you want to be fit, you need to work hard with the gym. So I think that this is partially what we are. I mean, we are selling our program, but at the end of the day, if you want to achieve everything, you need to work hard. And the kind of people that we are looking for are people that are open-minded to new ideas, creative, because we do put a lot of emphasis on entrepreneurship, daring, uh, not just to absorb, but also to implement, to reach out. Uh, hardworking, as I said, and uh, impact-oriented. I mean, uh, this is one of our values. So if that's something that uh, you're interested in, so you're definitely uh, going to enjoy our program. Okay, the requirements, I think they're pretty much the same all over the world. So in order to join us, you will need to have uh, your bachelor degree at least. Uh, with the GPA of 75%, let's call it like this. Of course, if you have any other post-secondary diplomas, we would be happy to consider it. Uh, those of you who are coming from the non-English speaking countries or have not been getting their degree, the first degree in English, we would need the proof of English proficiency. We would ask for two letters of recommendation, your CV, uh, Personal essays, they are part of our application form. So the moment you start the application, you will see those ones. So you don't need to complete anything extra. Um, GRE, always getting a lot of questions about it. There are waivers possible, and I will be happy to answer all of you individually what are those waivers. But in general, we just want, on the one hand, want to be sure that uh, the students that are coming to us will be able to cope with the classes like uh, corporate finance or microeconomics. At the same time, we have uh, some obligations because we have international accreditation, so our students should have uh, those uh, exams. But again, we can be flexible. Uh, each of our students uh, having at least one admission interview with Jackie, but most of you will have two interviews. So the first one with me and then the second one together with Jackie will talk to you. <clears throat> And yeah, paying the application fee, you can see the QR codes. If you use this QR code, you will go to our application guide and everything is written there. There is a link to our portal. You can apply online completely. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to reach out to us and we will be happy to answer your questions. And of course, very important, the question of scholarships. There are several kinds of scholarships that we would be happy to offer you. The first one from Tau International. Uh, again, I'd be able to have, uh, I'd be happy to share with the links. Uh, Tau International has lots of scholarships. They are uh, for specific countries, for specific um, purposes. Uh, there are, I think, about 15 or more of them. So uh, please feel free to look what's happening there. There's some question. No, I think uh, David just shared the link. Ah, thank you, David. Yeah. Thank You're you, David. welcome. Yeah, this is the teamwork. Thanks. Uh, and uh, we also have our own software global MBA funds. 
again, uh, every year we got like a certain number and we're happy to offer it to our students in order to bring this diversity to the class and help really those ones who maybe at that point of life getting like a little smaller salary, but still have a lot to offer to the world. So we have also different kinds of scholarships starting with the ambassador one, which uh, implies that you will be representing our program from the moment you are enrolled with us. Merit-based, of course, like if your GPA is like higher than average. Uh, Financial-based is a kind of um, subjective one, but we also can discuss this uh, individually. An early bird application, uh, which means that if you apply before the first deadline, which is the 29th of December, uh, you will get, like an announcement now, 5,000 uh, scholarship. And uh, in order to do so, you need at least to submit your application form, pay application fee, submit your CV, upload your CV to the portal, and upload your transcripts. The rest can be taken care of later, like the exams, if you need to take the exams, or if you need like recommendation letters and the people that you ask for kind of like postponing the things. So, but like those four things that depend completely on you, if you submit those ones, we would be happy to give you the scholarship. And of course, there are many external scholarships. Again, we find out about like more and more that the students that are really motivated, the students have already got the free hoops for thing. Definitely, you can search for more and apply for more scholarships. And at the end of the day, we're here to help support your application also. And I guess that's it. Yeah, that's this us. Is yeah. And uh, you see my email in case you have questions. I hope when you have questions, you will email, email me. Again, the QR code with the uh, our website, you can leave the form also there and I will get in touch with you. Some basic information and thank you for listening. Thank you for joining us and now I think we'll be open. Yes, see you soon. I hope most of you at least. And we're here for you us to answer your questions, guys. I'll switch off the recording now, Lena, just to allow people to, to, to ask questions freely. Yeah.